guys welcome to another informative video about Lublin Poland brought to you by yours truly so many of you guys arrived in Dublin a few weeks ago and you told me that riding the bus is not easy it's not simple I used to think that ah, okay this is simple this is easy how can I make a video about this but yeah it's not easy especially for somebody who doesn't have a cousin or a friend who is showing them around so today i decided to make this video and explain to you guys how the public transport system in Lublin works so it's basically the same all over poland so if you understand this one you are good to go everywhere all over poland so yeah please like this video please share it with your friends feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys think about poland about lublin and also about my video <laughs> yeah so in lublin there are buses we call them autobus in polish so the buses run from around 4 a.m in the morning to 12 a.m in the evening so yeah there are also night buses that run after the day buses that is from 12 a.m to 4 a.m but ever since the pandemic started i've noticed that many of these night buses have been cancelled so yeah there are just a few that are running at the moment but at any given time of the day you can find a bus that can take you to your destination that's just how efficient the transport system is here in Dublin and Poland in general yeah so also there are many bus stops here in Dublin where you can go and get a bus you don't need to go at any street corner and you know wave your hand to the driver so that he can stop for you because he won't stop <laughs> you know buses have designated bus stops or bus stations that they are supposed to stop at so all you have to do is go to that bus stop and wait for the bus to come if you are not at the bus stop by the time um, the bus is scheduled to arrive then the bus will leave you you guys have seen me running <laughs> you guys have seen me running <laughs> for a bus yeah that happens so so many times that's just how it is when you are a student in Dublin <laughs> you always run for the bus yeah so if you are not at the station by the time the bus is scheduled to arrive then you will be left by the bus and you will have to wait but luckily at the main bus stops or bus stations um or maybe let's let me say busier bus stops there are buses that leave um, every 15 minutes so let's say you are at um, Pshestanek um, UMCS and you want to get a uh, bus number 26 and it is just left you will have to wait 15 more minutes for another bus 26 to come other buses will come in between those 15 minutes like maybe bus 31 bus 150 they will come but if you want that particular bus 26 you will have to wait for 20 for 15 more minutes yeah so that's just how efficient again <laughs> the system is at the bus station there are names that are clearly labeled on top so that you know which bus stop you are at um there is a bus stop name and a number on the side so let's say it's um, Kipure you will see that it's written Kipure 1 and if you look at the other side there will be another bus stop with the same name Kipure but it will be Kipure 2 so every bus stop is um, another corresponding bus stop on the other side of the road or on the opposite side so this is how it works when you are going to school let's say you're going to school and you are getting the bus at Kipure 1 it means that when you are coming back from school you will get off 
the bus at Kipure 2. So you get the bus at Kipure 1, but you get off the bus coming from school at Kipure 2. That's how the bus stops work. So you have to make sure that you know which bus stop you are at and also the number of the bus stop. So there are other bus stops um, that are located at big intersections or roundabouts or um, robots. You might find that there are um, as many as four bus stops with the same name. For example, here in Lublin, there is a bus stop called Paganiniego. There is Paganiniego 1, Paganiniego 2, Paganiniego 3, and Paganiniego 4. So you have to take note which bus stop um, you are supposed to go at or which bus stop you are supposed to get off the bus at so that you don't get lost, so that you don't get confused. Oh my God, guys, up to now, it's been two years since I've been in Dublin, but up to now, I still get lost. <laughs> it's just sometimes it's, it's overwhelming. It's confusing, you know. So yeah, you have to be care careful. You have to, you know, take note of the number of the bus stop that you are going to so that you don't get lost but um, when you are using the bus application I will explain um, about the bus application in the next video so you guys have to wait for that one but when you're using the bus application um, it's actually easy for you to you know know which bus stop you are at know which bus stop you are going to and also know um, which bus stops your bus is going to pass by before you get off the bus. I will insert um, uh, a screenshot or maybe a screen recording of um, what I'm saying so that you guys can understand. But yeah, if you are using the bus application, it's actually easier for you guys to understand it. At every Pshestanek, there is a, a bus station. Pshestanek in Polish and bus station in English. At every Pshestanek, there is a list that is displayed that shows which buses pass by that bus stop. Also, on the top of the bus stop or the bus station, where the name is written next to it, there are stickers um, of the number of the buses that pass by that bus stop. For example, um, at Mode Polski, bus, bus 13, bus 47, bus 26, bus 74, bus 156, and bus 160 pass by that bus stop. So when you are walking and let's say you just get to a bus stop, you can actually check on top uh, and see the name of the bus stop that you are at and also see which buses pass by that bus stop so you actually know just from uh, looking at the stickers okay bus 13 passes by Mode Poski bus 26 passes by um, Mode Poski as well but there are um, there are schedules that are on the bus stop as well they are displayed on the bus stops and they show you uh, the number of the bus and the time the bus is, is scheduled to arrive at that bus stop. So what you can do is you can just walk to any bus stop and look at the name of the bus stop that you are at. And also you have to know which bus stop that you want to go to. So you can go and, and see on that schedule. Okay, I am looking for bus station um umcs that's where i want to go to so you will go to that list of um schedules or the list uh or the timetable rather uh, of buses and you can check okay which bus passes by uh Shestanek umcs you can just check because the list also shows which bus stop that particular bus will go to next when it leaves that bus stop so you will know if it's bus um, 26 leaving Modi Poski 1, the next bus stop it will go to is WSSP, which is 
Winston Paul University. If you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, you can actually see all of that information on that um, list or on that schedule that is displayed on the Pshesta neck. So to summarize it all, on the bus station, you can see the bus stop name, you can see the bus stop number, like for example, Modi Poski 1 or Modi Poski 2. Besides that name, you can see the number of the bus, the buses that pass by that station. Either bus 13, bus 26, 156, 74, 47 or 160. You can go and check on the displayed list or schedule at what time the bus will arrive, at which bus stop uh, the bus will go to after it leaves that station. So it's quite easy for you to understand everything if you know where to look and if you understand um, what is written on that schedule. So I hope that this will make it easier for you guys when you arrive here. I don't want anybody to get lost, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it is important when you are riding a bus to observe um some manners <laughs> these are unwritten rules that you have to follow you just have to you know observe some manners when you are in a public uh bus yeah so when you get into a bus look for a free seat and sit down don't um be a nuisance and disturb other passengers. Just be respectful, get in the bus, look for a free seat and sit down. If there are no free seats, you can be a standing passenger, it's okay. There are also standing passengers here in Europe, if you did know. <laughs> yeah, um, if you are from Zimbabwe, you know. So yeah, um, all the seats are occupied. Be a standing passenger. Make sure that you um, find a handle or find somewhere to hold on to if you are a standing passenger so that you can, you know, hold on firm whilst the bus is moving so that you don't have to, you know, so that you don't fall um, on another passenger. It would be really an awkward situation. So make sure that you are holding on tight. Some of the buses, um, they are very fast. Like, yeah, they are very fast. So just make sure that you hold on uh, whilst the bus is moving. When you are looking for a seat, um, don't just uh, sit at any seat in the bus. No, there are seats meant for the elderly and there are seats meant for pregnant women and mothers who have children. So you have to look um, which seat it is and you can recognize these particular seats by a sticker that is put on the side or on the window that is next to the seat. Um, for example, if it uh, sits for mothers with children, you can actually see a drawing of um, a woman and a child. So those seats are reserved for only those people. Of course, if the bus is empty, you can go and sit on those uh, seats. But if a mother with a child gets in the bus, you have to stand for them, okay? You just have to be respectful and stand for them. Same with the elderly. There are seats that are meant for the elderly and they, are, they also have a sticker on them to show that they are for the elderly and also for the disabled. You can recognize the seats mainly because they are lower than all the other seats in the buses so that you know elderly people do not have to climb on a step to go into a seat so they are actually lower than all the other seats in the bus that's how you recognize them so just be respectful and stand if an elderly person gets in the bus also in the bus um, you're not allowed to eat or to drink this is a rule this is actually a written rule so when you're getting in the bus there is a sticker that is the um on the side of the door uh i think it's a sticker of an ice cream and um an x to show that this is not this is not allowed 
so you're not allowed to drink you're not allowed to eat in the bus even small children i've never seen a small kid um eating in a bus never like never wow <laughs> wow okay so yeah you're not allowed to eat in the bus you're not allowed to drink in the bus that is just how um these buses are clean i'm now realizing it because i've never seen these buses dirty of course they are swept um after every um after every round when the bus uh, goes to dock you know at the station at the main station it is obviously cleaned but yeah the buses are always clean so yeah make sure that you observe that polish people are generally quiet they talk so calmly and so quietly when you are in the bus you also have to be quiet <laughs> so many times i've been in a bus and all you can hear is the engine it's so weird and <laughs> it's so weird like everybody will be quiet it's 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 just hard for us as africans because we are generally loud that's just how we are and even in the bus when you're sitting next to a stranger you talk to them so now when you are in, in Lublin, Poland, everybody will be quiet. Even if you receive a phone call, you have to talk so calmly and sometimes even whisper just because people will be like, you know, looking at you like, what are you doing? Why are you shouting? So you have to be careful about that. Just make sure that you are not shouting um, to respect other passengers as well when you are in the bus make sure that you take note of the bus stop that you want to get off at so that um you don't get lost so that you don't get off at the wrong bus stop so in the bus there is a voice recording that plays out when the bus is approaching a bus stop so let's say um the bus is about to go is about to reach Modi Posky, you will hear um, a voice recording of a lady that will announce the name of the bus stop Modi Posky. So that's how you know um, which bus stop the bus is approaching. And if you are supposed to get off at that bus stop, you start preparing to get off the bus by standing and you know walking and going to stand near the door. So the doors in the buses they they close really quickly so you have to know the bus stop name um where you want to get off so that you start preparing well before you reach that bus stop otherwise the doors will close before you get off and you would have to get off at the following bus stop so make sure that you are prepared well before the bus stops because these doors in the buses they close really really fast so make sure that you stand by the door before the bus stops so that when it stops you just quickly jump off um you can check as well on the screen there are screens in the bus in the buses um that shows which bus stops the bus has already passed which bus stop uh, the bus is going to next and also the rest of the stations that the bus will go to after uh the approaching bus stop so you can always uh, stand or sit near that screen in the bus if you are still new if you are not used to the system yet you can always do that that's what I used to do I would always get in the bus and make sure that I'm standing or sitting next to that screen so that I'll always be looking up to see okay which bus stop we're approaching which bus stop have we passed you don't want to get lost trust me you don't want to get lost in the buses you'll find yourself at the end of the <laughs> at the end of Lublin <laughs> wow so many times I got lost guys but yeah you know Anika you know that's how you learn that's how you learn and understand this uh, system so how do you buy a bus ticket so there are four options that you have um to choose from where to buy a ticket you can buy a ticket on the bus application called yakdo yade so you just log on to the application um input your 
destination and your location as well and then you search for available buses and then you click where it says buy ticket so now you have to um, make sure that you select a ticket that says that um, reduced because you are a student so you can buy the ticket for um, a cheaper price so you buy a ticket for zone one for 30 minutes and it costs one zloty 60. so you can actually buy the ticket on the application it's very easy after you buy the ticket you have to um, input the number of the bus that you are in so that you validate that ticket don't just buy a ticket and leave it like that. You have to validate it. So by inputting the number of the bus that you are in, you validate the ticket and um, the ticket will be ready for use. So in the event that um, bus conductors come in the bus, you can just show them your ticket that you would have validated. If you do not validate it, it's the same as riding the bus without a ticket and you will be penalized so make sure that you validate that ticket it's very easy using the bus application yakto yade to buy a ticket but i find it hard um, to use because sometimes my internet connection is not that good so you can imagine i'm in the bus and my internet connection starts acting up, yet I have to buy a ticket. So what will I do now? What if the conductors come in? I'll be in big trouble. So yeah, I don't use this app at all. <laughs> so yeah, it's all up to you. So the second option that you have is buying the ticket from the ticket machines in the bus. So the, all the buses have ticket machines inside, but some of the machines only accept coins and some of the machines accept um, credit cards. So make sure that you always have coins with you, either 50 groche, one zloty, two zloty or five zlotis, so that you can just um, put in the machine and buy your ticket it's very easy to use this machine when you get to the machine click um, or touch where it um, shows the british flag uh, that's how you change the language to english it will automatically change to english when you touch that option that button so um, this is how you buy a ticket on a ticket machine in the bus on some of the main bus stations in Lublin, there are kiosks that look like this one. So that's your third option where you can buy a ticket from. So all you need to do is um, go to the kiosk and tell them that you want billete or tickets. Billete is Polish word for tickets. So you just go with your change. Make sure that you have um, some cash with you because some of them do not accept um, uh, you know, your credit card when buying tickets. They only want cash. So make sure you have some change with you and also specify that you want a reduced price ticket since you are a student. Many of them automatically know that you are a student because I mean, <laughs> yeah, they already know. So um, they'll just ask you reduced just to confirm and you will say tuck which means yes and also you just tell them how many you want and yeah that's where you can buy your tickets from if you can't buy from the yakto yade app or if you can't buy in the bus the last option that you have um where you can buy your ticket is a ticket machine on the um roadside or on the bus stops in Lublin. So there are a few ticket machines that have been put on some of the main bus stops or over Lublin. Not all of the bus stops but some of them have these machines. 
so yeah you can just go on the machine and touch or click on the british flag once again it's just the same as um when buying in the bus using the ticket machine in the bus so you just click on the flag and um select that you want zone one select that you want reduced tickets since you are a student select um how many tickets that you want like the quantity if you want two three four you just you know add on to your basket of the tickets and then you select pay um either using card or using coins and then you get your tickets so it's very easy to buy tickets um for a bus but all you have to make sure is that you have some change with you so if you are new in lublin um, I would advise you to change the money that you have into Polish currency. Make sure that you have some loose change before you get in the bus or before you buy a ticket so that it will be easy for you. Or if you have a credit card, then it's okay. In Polish Swatis, of course, um, it's okay for you to buy a ticket. But otherwise, riding a bus in Lublin and also buying a ticket it's very easy if you understand the whole process so i hope that this video will help many of you guys who have um, questions on how to do it i hope that you know it will make the process of you know settling in lublin poland easier for you guys because that's why i'm here to help you guys <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like comment share the video with your friends and also subscribe <laughs>